All right, hello everyone, and welcome to game number four between MGBP and TQ. So far, the games have been pretty standard, I must admit, as we now go move on to game four here on Twisted Meadows. This is going to be a very, very interesting, or has been an interesting series so far, but the games have not really been more... Ab the games have not been about reinventing the wheel as opposed to execution and being able to execute your game plan and strategy so far the game um well after the first two games we were all tied up at one game apiece game three i will leave up in the dark for you just in case you guys haven't seen it and we'll see what's going to be going on here in game four as a barracks sick of past also known as mgbp is setting up an altar of storms and should be getting up that blade master Meanwhile, the timing on the Undead Altar of Darkness is always a telling sign, and it looks like he is going to be going for a Ghoul opening. Ghoul opening or perhaps a Death Knight with Death Coil opening. Both of those very, very strong options. Death Knight can sometimes get away with getting Unholy or a First, but not against an Orc player who is going for a Blade Master. That Blade Master the hardest hero to possibly surround in the game you need to get its mana below 75 before you can even try and do so and at that point the blade master already has boots of speed and can usually slice and dice his way through a paper well through a ghoul like it's a paper box and then make it out and just continue laughing at your opponent Acolyte now making its way over here is it going to take down the sheep yes oh Acolyte needs one more hit to take kill a sheep um, I, I don't know how difficult it is to to take out a sheep, but apparently it is fairly difficult as the ghoul, uh, as some skeletal minions will be left by there. Meanwhile, you can see that the Death Knight is on its way out. The graveyard is being constructed and also the Tomb of Relics is ready to go. We should be seeing a Rod of Necromancy here in just a moment as there is still an Acolyte here waiting and scouting out. All right, in comes the Blade Master. He has not sold anything as of yet. And this Acolyte here is just in position to try and get sight of the Blade Master. And is it going to get sight of that Blade Master? It is not, as it is Windwalked, and now a Grunt is making its way over. Skeletal minions have been picked up and will be joining in on this fight. Grunt now chasing after this Acolyte here. Not going to be altogether um, that productive, as the Acolyte is going to get a little bit of healing from that Death Knight. Meanwhile, the Blade Master is off over here, stealing some experience by taking out his opponent's green creep camps. This is rather problematic, as we see that the undead player is just trying to figure out where his opponent is. In f is trying to find where your opponent is is always an important important aspect of the game making sure that you can you can disrupt them and not allow them to play their style of game here as we're now looking at the blade master riding off to the north and now gonna perhaps be taking a look around so far the blade master has come inside taken a look around and now backed away as we are now looking at grunts taking a little bit of damage not quite sure what that was about really should be going after this orange creep or this green creep camp here that orange creep camp was a bit too much as the blade master now looking to get some damage onto some of these other units now the skeletal minions do still have plenty of time life the blade master could try and win walk and catch up to it i don't believe that will work though as the blade master should be picking up boots of speed as soon as they are on sale meanwhile down over here seattle dominion parking itself even though it could give free experience it is uh, at a good position to make sure he knows when his opponent tries to take down this no warden no overseer creep camp so far the no warden is just getting in a lot of purges so far and the skeletal minions have not really been doing all that much it looks like he just uh, no he did not just use another charge he just used a charge there the skeletal warriors were purposely aggroed onto the null overseer so that the experience wouldn't be given and now the death knight comes in there gets a wind walk strike onto the death knight and the death knight is taking a bit of damage all right skeletal minion now giving some extra experience to that blade master the blade master sitting at level one almost level two tries to do a little bit of chasing once again as those crypt fiends will be running back onto the blight halls of the dead about halfway done blade master now still wandering around here as the grunts are going after the null warden creep camp it looks as though the null overseer will be the last one left the blade master did get to level two off of that and with critical strike now may be able to do a little bit more damage the blade master now however backing away he is revealed though 
this is a bit of a concern. Not quite sure why he's just standing around taking damage from the um, from the units as now he is going to go ahead and get off a Windwalk Strike again. It looks like he did hit this Crypt Fiend and the Crypt Fiend may need to get Death Coiled here to stay alive. Yes, he does stay alive. He does not want to get into that orange zone there at all. Blade Master was going to go after. Oh, almost gets a Critical Strike off onto the Death Knight as the Death Knight now backs away. So far here, you can see a Circular of Nobility has been left behind. Meanwhile, the Blade Master is going to head back to the rest of his units heal back up the two of the lower hit point units and now also pick up that circlet of nobility before making his way perhaps to this orange creep camp or even this orange creep camp here this orange creep camp is a little bit more risky since it is closer to his opponent and the grunts are just still wandering around as the blade master is still doing a bit of scouting meanwhile the death knight off to the north has placed down some blight here will be able to regenerate hit points but the death knight still sitting at level one um my apologies death knight still sitting at level one gonna go ahead and take down that unit there all right blade master is gonna go after the death knight the death knight very low blade master sitting at level two almost getting to level three now and yes does get to level two but the blade master is now going after some of these other units here you can see that the crypt fiend is taking a bit of damage it is just gonna simply get death coiled and healed back up but a scroll of town portal was burned there as the death knight still has no way of getting healed until those obsidian statues are out on the field slaughterhouse is still being constructed as the Blade Master now goes after the Null Wardens. Null Wardens, very, very easy targets to take down, especially for any normal um, attacking unit. There goes another um, unit there, as the Null Overseer will eventually get taken down here. Blade Master should be able to pick up another item and a Claws of Attack, plus six. It is a very nice item on that Blade Master. That Blade Master now looking very, very strong plus 10 attack this early in the game add in the fact that healing wave is going to be helping that blade master stay alive that much longer and with the shadow hunter now trying to give chase we'll see what's happening next lich is on the field we are going to be seeing that frost armor used in order to slow down this blade master and what exactly is happening here all right are we going to see some attacking here yes we are there's some attacks no frost nova as of yet there is a little bit of disruption on the healing there as the crypt fiends are still off to the side all right it looks as though a skeletal warrior will get taken down there it goes as the grunts now looking to regroup here crypt fiend army and ghouls generally not very good at taking down buildings as there is just so much damage reduction on piercing and heroic damage types perhaps they'll go after a very low hit point building such as the voodoo lounge as the Blade Master is going to come in. All right, we can see a Ziggurat is currently being constructed here. We are going to go in for an engagement. There is a Hex. And now the Blade Master going after the unit here. Is it going to be able to take it down? It looks like a Potion of Healing was used as the Grunt still giving chase. The Grunt is going to get focused down here. There goes one Crypt Fiend as we are still fighting it out here. The Blade Master seeing that level 3 now. Very strong at this point. It may be able to just finish off all these units. Peons are here, and you can see that the Spirit Walkers have cast some Spirit Link already. That is going to severely help the um, Orc army as the Crypt Fiends are still continuing to fight back here. You can see that the Peons are still fighting back here once more. And the Crypt Fiends and the Grunts are still just trying to run back here. It looks as though that Grunt is going to no, is gonna be able to get away as we see a cancellation or um, a cancellation or a destruction of that uh, Ziggurat over here. So far, we are still fighting away. Ghouls are still looking to engage as the Blade Master with a Potion of Healing is going to be forced to use it in just a moment. All right, let's see. A Crypt Fiend may get taken down. The Shadow Hunter is still rel relatively low on hit points. There goes the Crypt Fiend as the Blade Master now tries to finish off a Ziggurat here. The Peons are now fighting back. There's a Death Coil onto a low hit point Crypt Fiend in the back here as the skeletal minions are still making their way over to try to finish off a grunt that grunt looks like it is going to get taken down we're looking at 37 supply here as the obsidian statue is now taking a bit of damage as well spirit walker should be able to focus down that obsidian statue pretty easily it looks like it is going to get taken down yes there it goes and we are still looking for this fight here lich now taking a bit of damage wow taken out very very quickly and there is the gg as we are all tied up at two games apiece Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game two. Please stay tuned for game three.